Good afternoon everyone and welcome back to Crash Course Kitchen, the show that gives those uh, with little to no cooking experience the chance to learn how to make their favourite dishes with our professional chefs. As always, our guests won't be able to see what the chef is doing and will only be able to see uh, via communication as they attempt to follow the instructions. So firstly, we looked into finding out how many people actually know how to cook from scratch and feel confident in the kitchen. To do this, we interviewed members of the public to see what they had to say about cooking in their lives. Here's what happened. Cooking, ten. I would say six. About uh, seven or eight. Ten. Oh, six. Nine. Well, I'd say I'm a seven. I'd say eight. A scale of one to ten, I am the don of cooking. That would put me at ten point nine. Do you have a single dish that you like to make? I just like doing roast dinners for my family. Oh. Meatballs and curry sauce. Probably spaghetti bolognese. I love bolognese. <laughs> and if it's doing mince, probably. <laughs> I'm really good at making a veggie stir-fry. So I mainly cook Thai food. Uh, I enjoy, enjoy those flavours. I make, like, this rice bowl. It's like rice and I have prawns and peppers. Bangers and mash. And baked beans. No gravy. Pasta, maybe, because it's cheap and fast to make. How many times a week would you say you cook from scratch? I cook from scratch three times a week. Oh, God. Uh, once or twice. Three or four times a week. Once or twice. Maybe four or five times. Like four or five times. I'd say about five. I'd yeah. Say five times a week. I'd say four or five. Two or three times a week. Two, three times a week, maybe. Probably five or six times a week. So on today's show, we have 43-year-old Matt Aubrey, who says he wants to learn how to cook. Hello, Matt, and welcome to Hi. the show. Thank you for joining us. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. Uh, so why do you want to learn to cook today? I've, I'm already reasonably out in the kitchen as it is, but I'd like to expand my repertoire a bit more. I've got you know, two or three dishes that I, I do regularly, and I mean regularly. I'm a big fan of my slow cooker. I just tend to chuck everything in there once a week, and then that'll do me for, for a week. But, you know, it's the same thing over and over again. I'd like to, you know try something different for a change. Absolutely, well you've come to the right place. So what would you say is your, uh, your favourite dish at the moment? Well, like at the moment it's a chilli because okay. <laughs> my, my, my slow cooker is getting a lot of use at the moment. Um, but yeah, that's, that's one of my main favourites. Okay, fantastic. So now let's welcome today's professional chef to the show, Christian Haas, who is going to be introducing today's recipe. Christian, thank you for joining Hello. us. Um, so Christian, tell us, uh, so where do you work and how long have you been a chef for? Well, I'm working right now at Roxy's. Okay. Uh, Roxy's? Yeah, of course, at Roxy's. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I've been a chef for like the last five years of my life, uh, but most of it in Romania. Okay, and wh what would you say is your favourite dish to cook? My favourite dish, anything that's on grill, it's fantastic for me. And right now, this is one of, the, of, the, of my favorite dishes, uh, stroganoff. A beef stroganoff has a steak in it. It's fantastic. OK, so Christian, let's uh, talk us through the ingredients that you have here today. <coughs> well, first of all, my favorite, mushrooms. OK. Yeah. Onions, garlic, a certain steak that's not too greasy, it's just not too fat, it's not too low on fat, it's just perfect. Just right. Gravy, some double cream, okay. and for the finishing, some parsley, and of course, the old PSG, I mean, salt and garlic seasonings, and pepper, yeah. seasonings, yeah, exactly, absolutely. olive oil, and just a bit of touch of a, of a brandy. 
Oh, the brandy. You yeah. got that from my dressing room, I think. Didn't yeah, you? of course. Of course. <laughs> Hi, my name's Sean, and this is my top five things not to do in the kitchen. The first thing not to do is to skim read the recipe. You don't want to be halfway through before you realise you haven't got an ingredient. The second mistake is picking the wrong size chopping board for the ingredient that you've picked. Guess that too. Tip three, pick the right knife for the job. Oh, I did it. The fourth mistake is working in a messy workspace. This not only makes you less organised, but puts you at a higher risk of cross-contamination. Final mistake is not seasoning your food. You don't want to end up with a dull and tasteless dish. Those are my five tips of what not to do in the kitchen. That's all from me, back to you in the studio. Okay, so welcome back to the kitchen. We're just about to get our chef to start instructing. Uh, so chef, um, yes, after please. you. Well, we're gonna begin with the mushrooms. Okay, Matt, so grab those mushrooms. Yeah, we just chop the mushrooms in high pieces. So thin, just thin basic, slice, ju chop. just half them, just make them quarters. You can just put them whole if you want, so it's okay. not a hard thing to do. So you've got a choice there, they can be either whole or you can slice those? Yeah, you just... Okay. So how, how many uh, mushrooms are uh, we uh, well, using with this, Chef? Let's say about... 10 pieces, 10 mushrooms. If you get that mat, so about 10 pieces of, uh, of mushroom there. Oh, uh, oh so I'll just do the one, one for luck. <laughs> They're gonna be enough. Now we start on the onion. Okay, bear just with us there, Chef. I think you're racing on ahead if we can. Cleaning got... the onion. <laughs> yep, so we're going with of the course, onion. We don't need the first layer. Okay, so uh, Perfect. Chef, uh, yes, talk please. us through obviously what you're doing here. Now, um, we're cutting the onions. Yep. Just not like the we cut, we cut the, the the mushrooms. Okay. In slightly smaller portions. Yeah, slightly smaller. They're slightly like, thinner, aren't they? Yeah, thinner and kind of julienne, but a bit bigger if you want. See. Okay, uh, and we're using the uh, just half of the onion with this. Just half would oh, be okay. would be right. Yeah. So just half. Thinly sliced, nice is it? and thinly sliced there, Matt. Now. Good job. We should. Of those fingers. We should prepare the pan, which is nice and warm right now. Okay, yeah. We will. Yeah. Just put a bit of olive oil. Okay, let's get yours on. So we're preparing the pan. Uh, Please, if you want to how are you doing? pass this over. Okay, thank you very much, Chef. You're very welcome. Uh, Just put the onions in the pan. Put the mushrooms all together in the pan. So, all in that pan. And you just need to oh, mix wow. them a little. It's starting to smell good. And now just add some garlic. Okay, so add a little bit of garlic there. Okay. okay just so smash it, cut it a bit. So how many uh, how many bits of garlic are we going for? Chef? I'll go like for just one is enough. So uh, just one garlic. One garlic. And then we that mat. Yep. Yeah. Pass so on. We go further to the meat side. Okay, so chef, talk us through and how you're preparing this meat. Yeah. Just cut the grease part, this the, the hard part of the of the sirloin. Okay. You just remove it. You don't need this one. Yeah? You're gonna send it to trash. Meanwhile, don't forget to mix your vegetables using a spatula, using just can throw them in there a bit. 
So a, a lot of it is multitasking, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So always the kitchen is multitasking. One hand flicking the uh, the pan, and then the other hand preparing the meat. So, exactly. And now so the Matt, meat. When you're ready. The sirloin, if you want. The trim fat, was that? Yeah. Trim the fat off of there. Exactly. And okay. now you cut the meat in like big pieces. So we're doing but cubes. Cubes, yeah. exactly. Okay. Just, just like this. Fantastic. So what, why are we cutting it up into cubes? Why are we? We're doing uh, so for not not for strips. them. No, not stripes. No. Well, you could do that, but if you have them stripes, then you're gonna end up with like three stripes in your whole dish, and you don't want that. You want the cook to be cooked, the meat to be cooked ready, uh, fast, and uh, be cooked even. Okay. And this is why we're we're doing smaller pieces, yeah. So we're we're just waiting for Matt over here to uh, get that meat sliced up into exactly uh, not not strips into Some cubes. Into cubes, that's it. We Fantastic. need to be waiting a bit. Oh, this is smelling really nice now. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, you need now you need your ingredients to be a bit brownish before you go any further. Okay. Into the pan with the meat. Bit, so, meat yeah, meat. straight in the pan. Well, everything we, we've been cutting until now goes straight in the pan and you just wait a little. Okay, so is there, is there anything to prepare from now or can, well, can Matt carry on with uh, no. getting that meat nice and brown? You don't need to prepare anything right now, you just need like 30 more seconds and then you can add the brandy. Okay, so we, we don't need to touch the heat, do we? We're, we're just preparing that meat, yeah. just stirring it a little bit. Exactly, yeah. stir and see it, how it goes. See, it's just... So is this uh, a dish that you'd uh, do at Roxy's or? Well, we do this on Roxy's. Tell us a little bit about, about Roxy's. And it's one that I'm eating every, every uh, Monday. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like a habit of, uh, my ha at my house and uh, we're just so huge fans of uh, vegetables and meat. Yep. And we're trying to, to mix them and it's not only this recipe that we are making, it's all of them. It's just let your imagination flow yeah. and go with that. You can go wrong with food, that's wrong, especially not with something that's with meat. So, so what's, uh, what's a popular dish at, uh, at Roxy's? Popular uh, would be the one called uh, Roxy Schnitzel. Okay. Yeah, it's... It has cheese, has a layer of, uh, of crunchiness from the corn flour, from, from the corn flakes. So it's that's uh, one of the most popular. Mm. And then right over, right after that, is the stroganoff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Many people love it. So are we get into the stage of uh, pouring that on now. Yep. Okay. Just a bit. Yeah. Fantastic. Just like a shot. So do, shall I use the? Use the glass here. here. So just that, a shot. Oh, right, okay. So if you just want to pour a shot of that into the dish, okay, into the That's pan. about 30, 40 millimeters. A little bit for luck. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> a little bit for luck was yeah. that, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna take this away from it. <laughs> okay. So do, do we just let that soak in now? Just a bit to soak in for the for all the flavor from the brandy. Okay. It needs to to go in the meat and. In the in the mushrooms and all everything is gonna have a small, uh, a so small flavor. Yeah, flavor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So how, how long do we uh, leave this for? Yeah, not long. We need to see it uh, because if you see the alcohol from here yeah. from this pan is gonna go in the air straight away. I mean, okay. look at it. It's already already going. Okay. And so now this is the moment when you add the gravy sauce. Okay, so keep, keep telling us, Chef, what we're doing. We're so, adding... Uh, Matt, we're, we're adding the gravy so sauce now in, into nope. that one. Okay. Just okay. stir it a bit, mix it. Okay. 
Yeah, it's fantastic. And then obviously mixing that up. Chef, keep, keep telling us what we're, what we're doing as we go through this. Well, we're going to wait a bit. Yeah. And after that, we're going to add the double cream banana straight away. Let everything come back to heating point, to a boiling point. Chef, do you want to try Matt's? Yeah, this yeah. one is Matt's, gonna, this one is mine. I'm going to come in here and I'm going to try Matt's as well. And I'm going to... One second, I okay, just so want a piece of meat. Tell us a little bit about, obviously, the texture and, and the taste. Well, the meat is well done, so it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it tastes the way it's supposed to taste. So it's perfect. Well done, Matt. Thank you. It's tasty. Very much. Yeah, well done. Thank you. That's excellent. You're Thank very you. welcome. Thank you. And Thank you, Christian, for joining till us. Till next time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Of course, try mine. OK, so can we, can we take this with us? Can we get a, <laughs> can we get a tin to go? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Okay, so we're, we're going to finish up here. Uh, until next time, keep cooking.